Now there's one more method that I want to go over today. It's called linking a template to a user-defined type, or a UDT. UDTs are also known as complex tags. The goal of a UDT is, to, is identical to the indirect method that you use with folders and tags. But the only difference is that rather than exposing a simple string, you're exposing the template to the actual UDT itself. That means you can only link the template to tags that are of that same exact type. As in the case with indirection, structure is important with UDTs. Whenever you use a folder or a UDT, it looks like the same structure, but a UDT is a tag instead of a folder. The UDT makes everything inside of it automatically conform to that structure so that you won't make a mistake like changing a, a tag name or, or breaking the application. A UDT is safer than a folder. It will never let you change the name of its children. It forces that structure. So if you remember that motor that I did earlier, I had four motors and all the same tags. That were, those were folders. It's possible for me to have a tag in one folder named differently than tag another folder, and that would break, break that indirect uh, that would break that indirect motor template that I created earlier. So same as all of these, you can design it one place and create as many motor tags as you want, and that UDT guarantees that you can create that that has the exact structure that you want. So there's no way for those tag names to be different. The reason that we added UDTs to Ignition was so users could have a drag and drop method of creating templates that point indirectly to a set of tags. Um, so it was one of the reasons we, we created UDTs in Ignition. The UDT method is meant for rapid deployment. It's not meant for users who want to have dynamic screens. So that's really important. If you're looking for dy dynamic screens, you're going to use the indirect templates. Uh, with, with that, here we're going to make UDTs to save development time as far as users who are not going to make dynamic screens. So let's go for example. Let's say your company has, doesn't, doesn't have dynamic screens, but you want to have a simple way of dragging and dropping a UDT on a window. And you want to make it easy for the next person who's going to come in and keep working with that, that same data structure. You can go into Ignition and use a, uh, use a UDT on a template, so you can just take a motor and tag, drag it onto a screen, because it's the same UDT, boom, it makes it. That's the beauty of UDTs. So again, let's show an example of this so you can see it in action. So I'm going to go to my designer. The last one I'm going to create over here is, um, again, a UDT. So I'm going to create a new template. I'm going to call this uh, motor with UDT. And again, I'm going to add a parameter to it. Right click, go to my custom properties. I'm going to add a parameter. In this case, though, the parameter type is not going to be simple. It's going to be complex. My user defined. I'm going to go to my motor that I created here. And so now that I've got that, I'm going to make a drop target. I can, of course, go and create the exact same thing I did earlier. So I'm going to go and actually steal the stuff I had on the previous motor. It's going to copy and paste all of that in here. Um, and we're going to go and just change the links. So this top one here, I'm going to link it to a property instead of indirect tag. And that property is going to be inside that UDT property. It's going to be my HOA. I'm going to do the same number of color translation here. So the red and uh, green and yellow for all three of those. Then I'm going to go to my AMPs. I'm going to link the value of that again to a property, go inside my UDT, and get the AMPs tag. So now it knows that structure because it's there. So if I look at the property on the template, it's, it's a motor type. And if I look at the inspect that, you can see it has the exact same structure every time, guaranteed. Now once I've created that, which here I'm done, if I go to my overview window, uh, now I can take any motor tag and drag it onto that window. So let's go and create some motor tags. Since these, these ones here that I created earlier, these were for uh, these are just folders. They're not actually the UDT tags. So I'm going to go actually in the same folder, go add some new tags, data type instances of, of motor. So I'm going to select motor. I'm going to create motor 1-4. I'm going to create four of them here. The motor number is going to be 1 to 4, and the device name here for mine is going to be uh, control object, so I can have all four of my motors. There you can see now the values are coming through. Same identical idea as you have up here, except for these are this one single tag that is a motor type. Now I can simply drag that tag on the screen, and because there's only one UDT with that type, you can see it automatically creates it, and it's going to link it directly to it for me, keeping it very simple and easy for development later on.